Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, JT Open Stuff. Guys, I had so much fun building a Spidey and his amazing friends Lego set that I found at Ross. I went back up to my local Walmart and I started looking and look at this set I found, guys, marked down to $7 at my local Walmart. I'm not sure. I, I said in the last video, I think a lot of the Spidey and his amazing friends toys are kind of getting clearanced out. Maybe, maybe for new toys, let's hope. I'm not sure if it's just kind of run its course, but you know, every time that, that you guys interact with my Spidey videos, you seem to love Spidey and his amazing friends. So as long as I can, I'm going to keep posting fun stuff like this for you guys. And I really had so much fun. I've got it right over here. We built the little Spidey car that had Doc Ock with it. And it was a cool little build. These builds are meant for kids ages four and up, as you can see on the box. And honestly, it was a fun little build. Um, so we're going to get right into this. This is number 10,781, Spider-Man's Techno Trike. It has 59 pieces, and it is for ages four and up. So you do get, as you can see here... Miles Morales, and the Green Goblin. So we're going to get right into this. And as you can see, what I really liked about this the most um, is this is going to get a lot of young kids into the hobby that, you know, this could be their very first Lego set and build them or build their love for the toy, you know, hobby. So let's get right into this. And while I do get into this, guys, if you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. About 90% of the people that watch my videos have not subscribed. So if I could get that number, you know, down to even like 50%, that would be an awesome achievement. And I would really, really appreciate it. So click that subscribe button. If you do like this video at the end of it, please do click that like button as well. And I am going to get into building this. So this one is a tiny bit different. The last set had two bag or one bag. This one has two. As you can see here, though, you do get pieces kind of like this that are already kind of pre-assembled or just one solid piece to help little folks kind of build, you know, a little more easily. So we're going to put that right over there. We're going to open it up and we're going to see if it gives us instructions of which bag to open first. So it looks like it just says to open the bag with the red web in it. So we're going to do that. And if you guys have watched any videos where I open up Legos in the past, I do like to go ahead and separate out my Legos by color so I can easily identify where the piece that I need is. So we're going to do that. We're going to put the tires right over here, all the red pieces over here, the black pieces right over here, another tire, the blue glass piece, light gray is going to go over here. There's a mini fig piece, another mini fig piece. All right, blue, blue, dark gray, light gray, Okay, so we have those colors separated out. And while we're at it, I'm just going to go ahead and take the second bag and separate it out as well. I think that makes the most sense for me personally. So I'm going to take the same approach that I did. I'm going to put all of the similarly colored pieces in their own little piles. And in this one, we have little purple pieces for the little goblin glider, little green piece there. All right, so I think we are good now. Let's start building. So right off the bat, see we are going to start building the miles well, <laughs> so Miles is a really neat looking little minifigure in this set. We're going to put him together right there. And where Spidey had a white web in the other set, this Miles has a really cool red web. 
So that is really kind of a neat feature. Well, you know what? I think his hand got turned upside down. Nope. It's right side up. We'll just... Sorry, Miles. <laughs> Let's see. Try this one more time. I'll pop that right in there. There we go. That time it went in there. <laughs> Look at how big that web is. That is a giant web, but we'll put Miles right over on the side. And now we're going to build the goblin. So I'm going to take that body, put that on those legs, his crazy looking face, his really cool looking little, little hat. Now it shows on here that we're going to go ahead and build his little pumpkin bomb also, but now I'm going to have to look at this. So hmm. the pumpkin part is topped by this. So this part right here, I guess it just kind of fits over his hand. Let's see. I'm not sure exactly how that fits onto him. Looks like it could go just inside there, but not really have any. Huh, interesting. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize this, but I guess the circular shape of his hand kind of allows it to fit just underneath there. So it doesn't stay really, really well, but it does stay enough that we can kind of leave him over on the side as well. And now let's move on. All right, so as you can see here, we are going to start. I'm going to try to put that right there. And so we have that piece just like so. And this piece goes right here. Okay. We need those two pieces. So that piece there, that piece there. And this piece here. All right. Now let's go ahead and take these purple pieces and they go here and here, just like that. And then this little part goes just like that. Now you affix the little wings. Like so. And there you have it. Fun, easy little glider build. Really, really nice. I love that little, little glider. Now let's move on to Miles' car. Okay, so looks like we have this piece first. This little booklet and staying open really easily, but we're gonna, gonna take care of that. We're gonna hold it just like this. And this little yellow piece goes in like there, right there, and right there. Okay, now we skip all the way ahead. Wow, <laughs> okay. We skip ahead to these large tires, I guess. Let's see, okay. We pop those on there. 
<laughs> Just like that. Oh, wait a second. So this must be the front tire. Wow. Okay. So that pops on there and there. Really cool. Kind of get where we're going now. Okay. So this one goes here. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez Louise, <laughs> pick that wrong piece up. So that goes in there just like that. Now we're gonna take this piece and we are going to kind of pop them all together at the same time. And there you go, that is a nice little feature. Now we're going to do these other two. And you know what, I think I just made a mistake that I should have seen coming, but I did not. So we're gonna take that apart just really quickly because I did mess up the wheel here. I put the wrong tire on the wrong, well, at least the wrong tire on. So it's actually the smaller rim Would have gone on there. Let's see. Flip back just a couple of pieces. Yeah, I just messed that up, guys. That was 100% me, me, me. So put that one back in there. Now this will all. Let's see. There. Oops, here, and there, there we have it. All right, now I go back to this other page again, and now these red wheel um, rims go into these kind of larger tires that there's two of the same ones. So as you can see, even someone my age, you have to be careful building these Legos. They can be tricky sometimes, but it's still cool that they're easy enough to build that a little person could do it, you know, with very minimal help from their, their parents, I would say. And we'll pop that little yellow piece in there and there. And now in this front part, Okay, guys, I am just having all kinds of issues today. I did have the tire in the right place the first time. It is supposed to go back here. Wow. <laughs> and back there. Now, there. All right. Now, I guess it really doesn't matter now that I look at it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to do that and that. So at least we look kind of the kind of right there, I guess. It just was an optical illusion. When I first saw this little part, I thought this was up here. That kind of threw me off for a second. So forgive me. <laughs> we're back in action now. So this blue piece goes right there. Then we have this little piece that's gonna go Let's see. This piece that goes right there. And then this piece is gonna go right there. So that popped in pretty nicely there. That's good. And then this little piece is going to go right here. And then 
We're going to fit the fenders on like that and like that. Okay. This piece is going to go right there. Then the little darker blue pieces are going to go here and here. Really nice. Well, yeah, that popped on there. And then this piece is going to go right here. So that's kind of the way that looks there. Okay. Now this piece is going to go right in between those dark blue pieces and just kind of pop down on there. It's going to give you that look on the front. And then this piece is going to go into the front of that. Now that that's on, we can put the little Miles logo right there, just like that. And we're going to flip that around and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Put that piece there, this little piece there, now these are kind of like little handlebars, a little, little steering wheel action, whoa, and that is going to go right there. Really cool. Okay, so now we are going to take this piece and it goes on right there with the little dark piece right there. And the cover piece right there. Now, this is pretty cool. This makes it look almost like a rocket ship. This piece is going to go, let's see, if it's on there, let me get it to fit on there. Right there. And then that little flame Coming right off the back like it is just breezing. There we go. All right. Now we have these little pieces right here. You have that side and you have that side. So on this side, we are going to put these little blue pieces here. Just like that. We're going to do that times two. And then those are going to pop onto the side just like this and just like this. And there you have it. Now that is a cool looking little vehicle. And again, $7, you get a vehicle, a glider, one minifig, two minifigs, a web. Miles can let go of the web, he can kind of bend his feet there. And let's see, let's get him in there. Look at that. 
That is a really, really nice, fun little build. As in most Lego sets, you get extra pieces, but in this one, it was only one extra axle piece. So you have to be really careful with your pieces in this set. But all in all, what a really cool set. Iconic characters in the Spider-Man universe and a fun little way of, of building them. So guys, I really hope you like this build. Um, if you did, again, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I will be opening everything from vintage to modern and everything in between. And I'd like for you to be right there with me. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.